Hi, this is Kim from iLikeMyPhone.com and what I have here is um, an iPhone 5S, an iPhone 5 and an iPad 3rd generation. So what I want to show today is um, that I, I just discovered that we can get the Apple uh, applications like iPhoto, iMovie, uh, Pages, Keynote, uh, all for free. Uh, this is how. Uh, Previously, it used to be like $4.99 through $9.99 for Pages app, but uh, once I got the iPhone 5S and uh, once I downloaded those uh, five apps for free because it's an iPhone 5S and it's a new device and they're free for new devices, um, and uh, I downloaded them and then I checked out my iPhone 5 and uh, iPad and guess what? They're all freely available on the other other uh, older uh, i devices as well. So you see here, I have an iOS seven, uh, iOS seven on uh, the five S, uh, obviously, and then uh, iOS six point one point three on uh, the five, and then iOS seven on the iPad third generation. So let's go take a look. So is the fingerprint recognition works just fine and that's the iPhone okay so I already have the five apps downloaded on my iPhone 5s I called it Apple Suite uh, if you can zoom in so that's the Apple uh, five apps which which are worth about uh, 30 32 35 dollars and this I did the same with uh, a really old one a one year old iPhone 5 and it worked just fine the keynote app and this and it's not even on iOS 7 so I was kind of puzzled but you know free is free so here on the iPad I you see that I don't I did not download them yet so they're all showing us $4.99 for iPhoto, Numbers is $9.99, Pages is $9.99, and Keynote is $9.99, and iMovie is $4.99. So about, it's about $45 or $40. So let's take a look at iMovie. See, I see the download symbol because I see the cloud symbol actually. Probably it's because I bought them, I mean, I got them for free on iPhone 5S. So it's downloading as we speak. The same with Keynote. It's free. And let's see. Pages. I already downloaded Pages. So, yeah, these apps actually on a smaller screen like iPhone 5S or 5 um, might not be. Uh, that great to actually work off of, but I believe iPhoto and iMovie will have very good use on the smaller screens. Whereas um, iPad can really use these uh, Apple apps on the big screen, really. So let's get the Numbers app. I'm not sure about GarageBand. Is it is GarageBand free as well? No. So GarageBand still stays at five dollars. Uh, looks like that's not part of the five app package. So let's get the iPhoto, photo, and there we go. So it's a neat little hack. I don't know if anyone else found found that out. Uh, it's just because my wife uses an iPhone five and I use an iPhone five S, and uh, I also have an iPad lying around to check this out and uh, I was really puzzled um, surprised actually and then sure why not free apps right so there you go uh, if you have a 5s and uh, uh, or if you I, I'm not sure if you can get those free apps if you can log into your friends iPhone 5s if you don't have one and then download them or something but yeah this is this is really cool I thought I would let everyone know that's it for me uh, from me today, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.